All right, so I'll correctly assume you guys got yourself one of these new Apple machines only to discover the gaping void left by the exclusion of the infrared adapter. So in order to fix this, to partially fix this, uh, we'll need a USB cable and one of these things. So this is an actual Apple part and the part number is A201947A. Uh, this comes from a 2006-7-ish uh, MacBook, uh, the ones before the unibody, actually. Uh, but you can find these from old uh, Mac Minis, old Mac Pros, uh, I think they had them. And yeah, quite, uh, quite many devices, iMacs had them. And the good thing about those is, uh, they're actually USB. So all you need to do is connect this to the USB and Mac OS will hopefully, let's see, recognize it as, um, as a built-in receiver. You know, if not built-in, but yeah, anyway. And it should work perfectly with the Apple remote. Uh, I'm running High Sierra, so uh, yeah. Let's go to the, um, go to actually making this up, the pinouts and all that. All right, so now that we've uh, finished our module, it's uh, time for me to excuse my uncut hand nails and uh, test it out. So yeah, this is at an angle. I guess I could have, or maybe will, uh, try to angle it. This cable is incredibly stiff and probably won't work too well. But I wouldn't really worry about it because these receivers are insanely good. So even behind the, the window they were, uh, in, in the original enclosure, they still could catch a catch a signal very easily so let's uh yeah 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 so they work just perfectly menu doesn't work right since forever but yeah play pause volume and the previous previous buttons do also work yeah so enjoy guys